welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira. I'm an Irish girl showing you how to make easy and delicious cocktails at home. You might notice there's somebody standing next to me. <laughs> I have my first guest. Uh, thanks so much for having me. You probably know Clisair already, but if you don't, she is another incredible Irish YouTuber. She also contributes with me for Tri Channel. We've been in a couple of videos together. Yes. I asked Claire what drink we were going to make today because obviously it's going to be your choice. You're my guest. Yes. What did you say? I said Mai Tai. I was in Thailand once and I loved Mai Tais and I just have not been able to get one, I think, for like four years. Yeah. Why did you like it so much? I don't, can't remember. <laughs> Cocktails for me, I like the sweet stuff. I do like rum. Yeah. So that sort of makes sense for me. We're going to do a Mai Tai with three different types of rum. So I'm hoping that I get the balance right because with tiki drinks that are really strong, like a Mai Tai, they need to be balanced. Will we get started? Yes. I did work as a barmaid, so I vaguely remember barmaiding when I was 18. Oh my god, so you worked that. in a bar? You've got more bar experience than me! Yeah, but like, I can't, I can't, I worked in a country bar. We didn't get requested very many cocktails. There was no mind. Like, I definitely at some point made a sex on the beach, but that's probably better. Oh, the, oh, we can do that next! <laughs> okay, sex on the beach next time you're on. Let's start with our Cointreau. So 20 mils, chuck that in. You can put it in this okay. small one in here. I also kind of sometimes do generous portions of things. So <laughs> yeah, I'm that, shocked. Don't worry, <laughs> it's absolutely fine. So it doesn't sound like you at all. You know, <laughs> it's just, so give it a good oh, squeeze. Oh, this is cool. It's so satisfying. God, this feels so good. I know, just get all the rage out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so, cocktails are great for God, relaxing. God, that is fucking red. Now we're gonna do 15 mils of Orgeau, which is a really random ingredient. It's an almond syrup, but they use it in a lot of tea Yeah, cocktails. now that did surprise me when I was like, almond? I know, really? it's an odd one. That is all of the non-alcoholic ingredients. Now we're gonna start using the rum. Wow, that's not very much. <laughs> I know, so it is, they're strong drinks, but look, we're gonna have ice, don't worry. You're gonna be okay, you're in good hands. Okay. Main rum we're gonna use is this. This is a darker rum, it's Appleton Estate. So we're getting as close wow. as we can to the first guy who made them. So look, I would love for you to try it. It's kind of spicy, kind of warm. I don't know. Oh wow. Do you like it? Yeah, that is spicy. So Ooh, we're gonna do- hot. Yeah, hot, hot, you hot, hot, can, hot. yeah oh. it's like, it's not, now this is the thing is, if we were to do full shots of all of these, especially the goslings, we'd be on the floor before we even try the content. We don't want that. But that lovely warmth there. Did the Mai Tai come from Jamaica? It was actually invented in California. So tiki culture is this phenomenon that's Polynesian culture made with Caribbean alcohol in places where they serve Chinese food in America in the 1940s. So it was, what? I swear to God, you know tiki glasses, you know like Hawaiian shirts, that's yeah, all yeah. tiki culture. It's not actually from Polynesia, it's Americans' interpretation of Polynesian culture. Wow, that's, that's where the Mai Tai came from. Interesting. So yeah, put uh, 30 mils of that in. 30 mils, and we'll, Yeah, so you're putting in like a pretty decent amount and then we'll follow it with our Appleton White Rum. What's your go-to drink? Blue WKD. No, you're actually joking. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. And no. everyone thinks I'm joking. No, like for real. No, I are you love like Blue WKD. Are you like, I'm going to chill now and crack open a, a yeah, Blue Wicked? Yeah, 100%. So That's like, right. I mean, it is pure. You're drinking pure sugar. For anyone who doesn't know, it's like, a, is it an Irish it's drink an, in the UK? It wouldn't be, yeah, it wouldn't be in America. Got into it a couple of years ago after tag. So I've played tag rugby. Mm -hmm. After a tag match, I'd be just like, oh my God, I just really need something to perk me up. Okay. And then I, instead of a pint, I'd be mm -hmm. like, you know what, I, I, give me a blue WKD. And then I just got really into it. So I genuinely do love drinking blue WKD. People think it's a joke. Mm -hmm. When I go into the pub, Sometimes the bartender doesn't psych me off. Like mm -hmm. at one, time, one time I went in after a tag match to a new pub and they didn't, they weren't serving it. And I was like, do you have guys a blue WKD? And he was like, no, we only serve adults. <laughs> to be fair, great burn. What is the percentage in it? Is it like three or That's four? Enough. But, but if you mix like... it with fuck, it blows your head clean off. Oh yeah, see now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I'm not is I'm not an alcohol purist. It's all about enjoying it. It's all about the same being... in your stomach as well. Yeah. Although my husband has a funny drunk story in that he once took that, it's all the same in your stomach, too far. No. So he came home drunk and he was like, well, I'm going to eat pizza and I'm going to drink milk. So why don't I just like blend them together? Blend? Oh no. <laughs> and drink it. Oh no, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's Alex. like, it's, yeah. Oh my God, I took him for like a clever man. He seemed like he was like a sophisticated yeah, no. dude. So, I mean, the experiment, total failure. He was like, that was absolutely rancid. He made a pizza shake. 
yeah. unleash the awesome power it's of food. It's very like Joey, like not keep it good, unleash anything. good. Oh God, I'd say it was unleashed <laughs> from his bowels. Let's try this white rum. I want to add that in. Fair play to you. Do you like yeah, that? That's nice as well. What's the drink that has betrayed you, that almost killed you, that you hate and you can't drink anymore? If there is any. Uh, there's a few. I would say there's two. There was one particular night and they were both to blame. Goldschlanger and Sambuca. Oh, that's a match made in hell. And then from there with the smell of it, I just... It was a moment in all of our youths. 100%, Sambuca yeah. shots. And Straight shots of Sambuca. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. It's a very humbling experience, isn't it? Now's the time hell to get yeah. our glasses. I've got jazzy glasses just for you. They've never been used on the channel before. It's no big deal. Getting glasses out of the freezer. This yeah, of course. Next level organization. Yeah, wait, you see them. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, really chill, because it's very hot. And you got the friends. right, like, shaped glasses. Yeah. I specifically remember I them being we served would, like, in do. these. You know, I mean, Look at that. Holy yeah, shit. Ah. Now what you're going to do is pour your mix into yep. it. Pop it on here and just give it a little slap like that. It doesn't even need to be a big shape. Like, this is perfect. You can be like, <laughs> yeah. if you want, <laughs> and you don't even have to. You have to, like, slap it. Yeah. And then give it a twist. And then it should come out. Oh my God, how do you have so <laughs> I'm there like killing myself trying to do it. I don't know, I just like, I just pushed it forward. Okay, and well, pro, no, that's perfect. <laughs> so we're just gonna pour it all in. Sweet. The last step of this is to do a dark rum float on the top. So we're gonna like basically pour a little bit down on the top. So it okay. gives it a nice gradient. Try some of this. It's uh, okay. a little bit heavier and spicier. What do you think? Wow. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're okay. using the back of your bar spoon to kind of stop you from getting a straight pour. You're just pouring a little bit. You don't need to do that much. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, nightmare. Don't worry. You're just going to be heavier on the rum. That's perfect. That's perfect. And with tiki cocktails, the garnish is super important. It's supposed to be like fun and silly and like a little bit kitsch. I've also brought you umbrellas. Yeah, and in my mind when I pictured it, I pictured an umbrella. Whenever I put mint in cocktails, I give them a slap and a roll. It releases all of the like mintiness. You'll be able to okay. smell it now. So give it a good... Yeah. Oh, and then... Amazing. And then you're just going to pop it in here. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, it does smell now. Doesn't it? Yay! Okay, so you've officially made a Mai Tai. We haven't tasted it yet. Oh, that's crazy. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! I feel like I'm on a beach already. Oh, that's that. so good. Oh, oh my God. So good. so nice. It's actually really good. Oh, my God. It's so... It just brought me back. I oh, love my it. God. It tastes so good. Oh, I'm obsessed now. My lime is my So it the turns out it is still my favorite cocktail, yeah? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yes. so nice. Oh, and then if you give it like a little stir, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the top rum just goes down yeah. into it and then, oh, so, so good. nice. They're deceptively strong. Mm. Yeah, I'm beginning to realize that now. Amazing. Yeah, I give that a 10 out of 10 because Yay! I haven't had it in years. It is just as good as I remembered. I'd actually forgotten what it tasted like, but the minute yeah. I tasted it, I was like, there it is. Yeah. Well, I have a couple more questions that I want to ask you. So let's head over to the cocktail drinking couch Ooh. and we can enjoy our cocktails and I'm going to ask you a couple more questions, okay? Okay. I know you were talking about drinks that betray you. What is your, I suppose, your worst hangover or your go-to hangover cure, if you have one? So lately, it's actually, <laughs> you're actually going to think I'm not telling the truth here. Uh, it's blue Powerade. Or, Do you just love blue things? Yeah, I just love, I love anything that tastes like, uh, what is blue stuff? It's, it's blue raspberry, isn't it? I think so. So that's like my favorite flavor, yeah. I also have some questions from the internet, which I'm gonna ask you. Oh, interesting, yeah. okay. Someone here asked, what's your favorite band slash artist? Do you know what I really like, actually, and you'll be surprised by this, dubstep. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I've heard some like, really good like intense dubstep in some of your videos i came across it a couple of years ago skrillex mm. um with his bangerang ep mm -hmm. was when i got into it and i was running at the time now i hate running now which it just really motivates like i listen to it when i work out yeah. and i really i'm just like yeah! it gets you gassed <laughs> yeah. off no one is listening to dubstep and meditating it's a physical exactly. thing you listen to it and you're like yeah. let's go somebody did describe my videos once which is my, my favorite comment of all time was like plays epic dubstep over mediocre footage. And I was like, I've never been read Sorry. so accurately. Sorry, you, internet commenter. <laughs> Someone said, how did you get into rugby? Speaking of sporting. I met my husband. So I met Alex and Alex was mad, my husband, and he was mad into rugby. He's played rugby all his life. But at the time he played tag rugby as an off-season thing, mm. just to keep fit. And then a couple of years in anyway, 
I was like, I never see you. I ne you're, you're always playing rugby and then you're always playing tag. And blah, blah. So he eventually brought me down to play tag with him. And that's kind of how it all started. Oh so, my God, yeah. so he introduced you. Oh, 100%. Milk and pizza guy in the blazer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's wild. So I also have some questions from our incredible Patreon supporters. Sam Fuller, thank you, Sam, asked, obviously he knows you're from County Mayo. Woo! And he said, Mayo, Sam. he said, for an overseas visitor, what can we see or do there? He wants to come when, uh, obviously, restrictions will allow him to travel. I do have, like, over 50 things on my YouTube channel and the Irish bucket list um, to do, but that's all over Ireland. So narrowing it True. down to Mayo. Most recently, what I did was I went to Down Patrick Head. Mm -hmm. I did that, like, two weekends ago. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. If you're into history, that's a really good place mm. to go and to learn all about it. Crow Patrick. Oh, yeah. A lot harder. She did it now two weeks ago. Also did that two weeks ago. Um, and I did it recently in a vlog as well, was I went pier jumping. So yes. go pier jumping in Mayo. I think he'll come in pier, but like you can do it anywhere. Yeah. Like, just put I a wetsuit on, jump in the water. Oh. You were always celebrating it, to be fair. You've had the Irish bucket, bucket list for so many years now. Time, Since yeah. you came back from Australia, you've yeah. been promoting it, which is incredible. But I feel like this summer, much like anybody in any part of the world watching this, we're discovering our own areas, which is so lovely. And you've always been championing that. I have another uh, Patreon question here. This is from Sam Cole. Thank you so much, Sam. He says, what was your funniest experience on the Tri Channel? Can I tell you what I think your funniest experience oh, was? Oh, yes. That's so interesting. Probably Please. my like favorite video on the Tri Channel. And I'm raged that I wasn't in it. Can you guess what it is? Is it the drunk? People do riddles? Yes! It is the funniest thing and you and Dermot I knew it was one of them. I, it, cause it, we did one after the other. We got, we got drunk in oh. one and then we did the riddles. Now he was good too, but you were incredible. And you were like, after that many drinks, oh, I was very impressed. But yeah, that was my favorite experience. I love being with Dermot. I think we bounce really well off each you other. You really do. Um, I really enjoyed that because I really got into it. And as you see, I'm pretty competitive. But like, but I feel you like back it up with actual like. Yeah, I feel like it. I went for it that time. I was like getting really excited. I was like, yeah, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I was very impressed. I will link it below if you haven't seen it. So you're lagging behind your mic there. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm so drunk. You can't drop because you look how sad your mint is gone. It's like a wee. Oh my God, there's a Mai Tai quote. The guy who invented the Mai Tai, and he said, you're always happiest with a flower in your hair, a Mai Tai in your hand, and good friends. He's not wrong. If you're watching this and you haven't seen Clausera's content, firstly, what are you doing with your life? If you want to see incredible content in relation to Ireland, there are so many different interesting things in there. Like you have, especially because you've been on YouTube for so long, which is so incredible. I'm like addicted to making new series. So I've like test tube. Money talks, I Irish love bucket it. list. I'm just and like, but the, the number one advice YouTube always gives you is like niche down, and I'm like, no. It's incredible to have that much of an archive of footage. Like you've, you're kind of growing up on the channel, which yeah. is amazing. Well, it's amazing and it's scary, and it's that's actually something I was um, looking to do a video on, and maybe in the future. Mm. But it, I, I feel like it's um, a particularly unique experience. Everybody else gets to grow up. Mm. I say gets, but like obviously this is my choice, but you know what I mean? If you decide that you're going to be a public figure, whether it be a, like a content creator or whatever else, you have to live alongside a lot of previous versions of yourself. I definitely think my degree in journalism has helped and my experience 100%. in journalism has fed into it. After Shy Irish Girls went viral eight years ago, mm -hmm. people would be like, geez, that video you did was so funny. Would you ever think you could do it anymore? <laughs> I've been like, I've been doing videos for years, but yeah, no, I, I'll have to think about it. We'll see. As you know, I'm like finally trying to go full time now mm -hmm. making YouTube videos. And I think it's just because it's the most fun. I've done lots of jobs. Mm -hmm. It's the most fun I've had. I like being my own boss and I like just making whatever I feel like making. And the only limitation obviously is how much I can afford to spend on something. Whereas nobody is saying, don't do that. That's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's stupid, I can still do it because I want to do it. You're absolutely nailing it. Thank you very like much. Genuinely, so you. if you have not gone over to Clasera's channel, we are doing a collaboration. So we're doing two pieces of content. There's going to be one on mine and one on hers. Hers is going to be a lot, arguably, more drink related. We're going to be doing truth or drink. So it's going to be a challenge based game where we either take a drink or answer a question. I don't know what the questions are and they're probably going to be quite I haven't difficult. looked at them either because I want to be surprised. Yeah. We will see you in the next video where we arguably get a lot drunker and answer questions that we probably shouldn't answer. Thank you again to Glissair. Head over to her channel and check her out. She has so much content there. She's been doing it way longer than I have. Thank you so much again. We're going to have another cocktail and we will see you soon. Bye. Cheers.